Kumusta grade 7 students? Ako si Teacher V at ako ang magiging katulong ninyo para maintindihan ang mga lessons ninyo sa math. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, iniimbitahan kita na i-click yung subscribe button para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ni Teacher V. Pwede mo rin to syempre i-share sa mga kaibigan mo at sa mga kaklase mo na nahihirapan sa math. At meron ginawa si Teacher V na Facebook group. Pwede kang mag-join doon at sumali para... Kung may mga questions kayo about sa lesson niyo, pwede nyo doon i-ask kay Teacher V. Ang topic natin today ay tungkol sa special products, particularly yung square of binomial. Now, let us study the following examples. Now, let us answer expressions using special products. Na ipakita ko na sa nakaraang kong video yung iba't ibang special products natin and i-apply natin siya ngayon. Sa so number one natin, we have quantity A plus 4 squared. Ito yung tinatawag nating square of binomial. Makikita nyo naman, dalawa yung terms natin. Yung A at saka yung 4. And then, meron tayong square or in-square natin yung ating binomial. So, therefore, this is a square of binomial. At matatandaan ninyo na ang product palagi ng square of binomial ay tatlo. Three terms ang kanyang magiging answer or product. So, maglagay lang tayo ng tatlong line. Yan. And, remember, yan, sinulat ko na yung tatlong gagawin natin para makuha natin yung product ng square of binomial. Una, we have to square the first term. Yung first term ng ating binomial ay square natin. What is the square of A? Ayan. Erase to to lang natin or square lang natin. The next, para naman sa middle term or sa gitna ng ating product, ang gagawin lang natin is twice the product of the first and second term. Ibig sabihin, ita times natin yung first term which is yung A, then yung second term which is yung 4, then multiply sa 2. Kay laging may 2 yan, laging may 2. Then, dito naman sa huli, square the last term. Ano yung last term natin dito or second term? Of course, we have 4. So, i-square natin yan. Then, i-simplify na natin. Of course, ito magiging a squared na. Then, 2 times 4 is 8 times a, edi 8a, 8a, plus 4 squared or 4 times 4 is 16. So, therefore, the product is a squared plus 8a plus 16. Yeah, yan lang ang gagawin natin para makuha ang product ng square of binomial. Next, number 2. This is another example of square of binomial. Kasi dalawang terms, 2xy tapos 7 or negative 7, tapos in-square natin siya. Again, ang product nito or answer nito ay palaging tatlong terms or trinomial. So, gawa tayo ng tatlong underline para sa answer natin. And para hindi na kayo malito, lagyan nyo na automatic ng 2 dito. Ayan. Now, let us do the following steps. Unang step is square the first term. Ano yung first term natin? 2xy. So, square natin yung 2xy. 2xy raised to 2. Next, second step, twice the product of first and second term. So, i-multiply mo yung first term sa second term, then twice or times 2. So, lagay natin, yung first term is 2xy. Tapos, yung second term is negative 7. Next, pangatlong step, square the last term. Ano yung last term dito? Of course, yung negative 7. So, square mo rin siya. Then, simplify. 2 times 2 is 4. x times x, e di x squared. Then, y squared. Then, ito, 
2 times negative 7 is negative 14. Negative 14, then may xy. So, negative 14 xy times 2 is negative. Negative 28 xy. Negative yung answer natin kasi may negative tayo dito. And then, dito naman, negative 7 squared or negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49. Bakit positive? Kasi negative times negative is positive. Therefore, the product is 4x squared y squared minus 28xy plus 49. Next, number 3. So, we have this. Okay, may bracket tayo x plus quantity y minus 2, then close bracket, squared. Itong x, yung ating first term, and itong y minus 2, yung ating magiging second term. So, paano natin ngayon ito masasolve? Same process pa rin naman. So, first step is to square the first term. Sige, gawa muna tayo ng underline. Yan. Dito. Then, lagay tayo ng 2. Diba? Laging may 2. Laging ita times sa 2. So, first term, square natin yung first term, which is yung x. So, i-square mo yan. And then, itong susunod, twice the product of first and second term. So, may twice na tayo. E di, ipag times lang natin yung first term, which is yung x. And then, i-times mo rin sa second term. Yung second term nga natin is y minus 2. Let's multiply 2 times x. Okay, 2x yan. 2x. 2x times y. Multiply natin siya sa y. E di ang answer ay 2xy. Tapos, 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. Bali, binomial lang answer natin dito. Kasi yung 2x, itong 2 times x is 2x. Yung 2x, multiply natin sa y. Ayan. And then, 2x, multiply natin sa negative 2. So, that is negative 4x. And then, ito na. Ayan, medyo, ito, another square of binomial na naman. Nakita ninyo? Binomial, and then, raised to 2, or in square natin. So, ibig sabihin, ang answer dito sa square of binomial ay tatlo. Tama? So, meron tayong tatlong answer dito. So, kunin muna natin. Ayan. Yung first term natin is y. So, i-square natin yung y. And then, yung pangalawa na step natin is product ng first and second term. Then, twice. Or doble niya. So, may two tayo dyan. So, first term is y. And then, second term is negative 2. Tapos, yung pangatlo, square the last term. So, yung last term natin is negative 2 raised to 2. Then, simplify mo lang. So, y squared. So, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 times y. E di negative 4y. Negative 2 squared. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Okay. So, nakuha na natin yung product natin dito. So, meron na tayong y squared minus 4y plus 4. Then, dito meron tayong nakuha as na 2xy minus 4x and then itong x squared. Paano natin ngayon aayusin yan? So, isulat lang natin in order. Ibig sabihin, unahin natin isulat yung mga numbers na may mataas na exponent. So, isulat lang natin ng maayos ha. Una natin isusulat yung x squared. Then, sumunod itong y squared plus y squared. Then, ito na, yung 2xy plus 2xy. Next, ano pa yung susunod? Okay, ito, isulat na natin to Minus 4x. Okay, nasulat na natin to Next, ito naman, isulat natin yung negative 4y. And then, itong plus 4 natin. So, this is now our product. So, x squared plus y squared plus 2xy minus 4x minus 4y plus 4. Medyo mahaba, di ba? Well, mahaba talaga yung product niya. 
Kasi doble yung ginawa natin eh. Bali, dalawang beses tayong nag-square of binomial, ano? Nag-square of binomial na tayo dito sa kanila, dito mismo. Tapos, nag-square of binomial din tayo dito sa second term natin. Okay? Ito yung makuha natin kanina. Tapos, hinalo lang natin siya sa ating product. Again, ang nawala lang rito or ang naw iba lang yung pwesto is yung y squared. Inilipat lang natin siya dito sa unahan. Kasi highest exponent natin is 2. So, pag nagsusulat pala kayo ng product, lagi nyo tandaan na dapat una yung isusulat yung merong highest degree or yung highest exponent. And then, pababa. Okay? So, ito yung ating product. So, wag malilito ha. wag malilito sa square of binomial. Basta tandaan, sa square of binomial, palaging tatlo yung product niya. Pero dito sa case natin, Kaya hindi naging tatlo ang product niya kasi may another binomial tayo dito. Okay? Tapos kinuha din natin yung product niya. Kaya naging ganito yung answer natin. Kaya kung makikita ninyo, ang naging answer natin is 6. Six, 6 terms. Okay. Ayan. So, next na tayo. 